Hello, good morning. So today, I'm sat in my office. It's a horrible day. Absolutely chucking it down. Miserable. Just don't want to go out. But the other day, I tried some. I tried doing some water droplet photography, and it went okay. I kind of got into it. I must have taken loads of shots, but none of them really stood out to me. So today, I've done a little bit more research into it, and as it's miserable weather outside, I thought I'd stay in and try and nail a couple of water droplet photography shots. So, bit of a random video this one. Lots of water splashing everywhere, hitting the camera lens. But hopefully, at the end of it, by the time I've finished, I will have got a couple of standout shots, hopefully. I've done a bit of research. I might use, I'm gonna start with water. I might use some different colored water, different liquids to get some different types of shots so we'll just see what happens really i was going to do some work but all my clients websites are down so i can't do anything so it might be a bit of a time waste but hopefully it won't be so i've just taken a few shots it's very difficult because a lot of it is very much luck based. You can learn, you can do stuff. Like I learned the other day that you need to use the flash because the flash sort of freezes the water drop out a little bit and captures that moment. So the macro lens that I'm using, there's only a tiny bit of focus in a certain area. So it's difficult to constantly get that water droplet into that area. You can get kits, I've looked online, they're called like Splash Art or something, Splash Art 2 or 3 but they're really quite expensive. So I was trying to try a DIY option first off. I think I've got some nice shots, but I did think that the other day, and when I got them on my computer, they weren't in focus. But hopefully, I've got a couple of crackers so far. What I'm gonna do is just carry on with the water at the moment, try and get a few more, and then I might try and raid the baking cupboard, see if there's any, see if there's any food or water coloring to try and give it that extra pop in the picture. But I'll run you through my very, very, very basic setup. Very basic. I've got my camera. So, uh, apologies for the state of my desk, by the way. It's a right shambles. So I've got my camera, 700D, 18 to 55mm lens on with a 31mm macro extension tube on. I've got that propped up on one of my old Media Studies books because I'm shooting on the desk. I've got the focus, um, the flash is on as well. And then I've basically got a plate to capture any spillages, a little glass ramekin full to the brim of water, and a straw which I pop in, hold the top to keep the water in, and then, and then release to get the water drop. So as I say, very, very basic, but hopefully it will let me capture some good images. So there's definitely an act to this. Things you need to take into consideration is the amount of water that you're releasing from the straw, the droplet size, where it's hitting the water underneath to create the splash. And of course, when you hit the shutter button as well. Getting those things right is like lining the planets, but I've got some good shots. If they're in focus, I think they are, I'll put them up now, here you go. So lessons learned from today, don't worry if you get water on your lens. It actually adds to the photograph and your lens will be absolutely fine. Don't worry, it's not like I'm outside getting absolutely chucked, out, chucked down on, getting absolutely sodden. It's a little bit of water on the lens and it adds to the photograph, which is really nice. Also, I need to be, I need to think about what's around me a little bit more because when you capture the water droplets in full focus, the, and they're like sort of proper pin sharp, you can see the rest of the room within that so currently within that water droplet there's a tripod there's loads of junk around my office so if i could position some flowers or something a bit nicer maybe do if, if i could do it outside and you know what i mean just think about the location a little bit more 
Also, I'm no expert by any means, by any stretch. I'm learning. We'll see what happens. But I am a little bit hooked with it. I haven't managed to do any food colouring ones today because we haven't got any. But I've got some orange juice, which I'm going to try a couple with before I pack, pack up and try and get on with some work. But if you've got any suggestions or advice or just comments, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you like and what's working and what isn't working. And thanks for watching. I will be back next time with another vlog. Please like, subscribe and comment. And I will see you soon.